2020 was a weird year. 2020 was the year that people realized that real jobs could also shut down at any moment. Before that, it was YouTube or Twitch, or you do YouTube for a living, or what happens if YouTube closes down? What happens if they take away your channel? And that bas that's basically what happens to the real jobs. So a lot of people were flocking to the internet and wondering how can I do some activities here that can maybe provide for me? And if you're one of those new people, well, congratulations, you found the right channel that's gonna help you mostly with Twitch, live streaming on Twitch. Today, my goal is to explain all the possibilities that you have in order to broaden podcast on twitch.tv. Now, despite my little intro here, I fully understand that a lot of people will try to do all well, this is what I actually advise you to do is try to do it as a hobby at first. And then if it's something that you really, really enjoy, you might be able to pursue it uh, more professionally. But of course, you got to start somewhere. And this is where I come in and try to help you out with this channel. All right, get your pen and notepad ready. But in the meantime, we're going to pay the bills by listening to a message from our sponsor. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned. Owned is your one-stop shop for customizing your live stream. They have a wide variety of customizable products from your logo, your banner, your offline image, your animated overlays, your sub emotes, your loyalty points, subscriber badges, everything from start to finish. When checking out their complete packages, right here you will find the interactive showcase. So if you want to know what the donation alert within the pack would look like, just click on it. And there you go. Then you have all the options, animated overlay, webcam overlay, which look at that. They even considered people who use green screens. They also provide gaming mascots and an avatar maker. But I'll let you guys figure that out. All you have to do is go to own.gg slash level. That's O-W-N-3-D.gg slash level. All right, Twitch.tv. Despite being very small in the grand scheme of things, Twitch is kind of like the leader when it comes to live streaming. There's more people going to Twitch to watch live stream than any other platform, despite the fake numbers that Facebook <laughs> tends to give out. And even though Twitch was created in order to live stream gameplay, it has evolved massively in the past couple of years and Twitch is just for anything now. So don't listen to people that are saying Twitch is just for gaming. No. Last year, a lot of events were canceled. A lot of people lost their jobs. So a lot of people flocked to Twitch in order to see if they can uh, broadcast their work, their passion. Uh, we had a lot of DJs. We had a lot of teachers, motivational speakers. Anyone that needs an audience in order to practice what they love. So here's what you need to understand in order to start. Twitch.tv is a live streaming platform. That means that you go on there, you create an account, which is also by default a channel that you can customize straight on the website. That means that anything that has a browser, you can access it and you can create an account on Twitch from that browser. All you need is an email address. It will probably ask you to activate two-factor authentication. You do all that. Now, from the website itself, you can customize your own channel, twitch.tv slash whatever name you picked, right? You can go there and then you can get to a dashboard. You can go to your preferences and then you can switch your banner, your profile picture, your panels, your description, your offline image called video player banner. But this has still nothing to do with your actual broadcast. Now, how does the broadcast work? Believe it or not, you cannot broadcast straight from Twitch. You can't open a browser and then start broadcasting on Twitch. You actually need a software or a different application that will send video signal to your channel on Twitch via something called the stream key. That is your key and it's linked to your channel. Now, there are multiple possibilities for that. If you are on a computer, a PC, or a Mac, hopefully you're on the PC because Mac has compatibility issues, you will need a software, a program that you can install and then broadcast to Twitch using that program. And when it comes to the choice you have between softwares on PC, you have OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, XSplit, Twitch Studio. There's others, but they're like more obscure. Don't use XSplit because you have to pay for it. If something you're trying out, don't pay for something you can try out, especially when there's free options. Uh, and don't use Twitch Studio because Twitch just came out with it like last year. It's very, very fresh. It's, it's, it's not good. It's really not good. It really restricts you. So you have the choice between Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. Now, OBS Studio is like bare bones. It's not meant to be used for streaming on Twitch. You can use it to stream on Twitch, but you can also use it to stream on Facebook. You can use it to stream on Instagram. You can use it to stream on TikTok if you want. Streamlabs OBS, the advantage that they have is that they are a service provider for Twitch streamers already. Meaning that their software is pretty much OBS, but for Twitch streamers. 
but also YouTube streamers and Facebook streamers. But it makes everything much, much, much easier so you don't have to go everywhere all around in order to get information on your stream. So my advice would be go with Streamlabs OBS if you're just starting out because all it requires you is to log in with your Twitch account and then all the information is there. You will have no problem displaying alerts, displaying overlays, displaying uh, the name of the people that follow you. All of that good stuff is basically integrated within Streamlabs OBS. That's why I would recommend it. If you know you're good with tech and you're about to go crazy and do some crazy stuff and you don't want to be limited, go with OBS Studio. It's more bare bones, but it gives you more possibility on the long run. OK, now you don't have a PC, you don't have a Mac. All you have is your smartphone. There are multiple ways to live stream. Still, I believe Stream Elements, which is another service similar than Streamlabs, has an app where you can stream with it. The reason why I mentioned Stream Elements and not Streamlabs, because they also have an app that allows you to stream, is because Streamlabs tend to keep a lot of things behind paywalls. They have something called Streamlabs Prime, and unfortunately, if you're going to put a lot of things behind a paywall, it's not always good to recommend that for beginners. So go with Stream Elements, or you can just stream straight from the Twitch app. So you go to your Play Store, your App Store, whatever it's called, you download the Twitch app, and you can also stream directly. But you will be very limited. It's bare bones. It's boom, it turns on your camera, and then your camera is being broadcasted to your live stream on Twitch. You can see your chat and all of that, but you cannot display alerts. You cannot put anything that's fancy. None of the whole PC action is going to be happening from your smartphone unless you use the Stream Elements application or the Streamlabs application because they allow you to display alerts. They give you way more option. Uh, they give you way more settings for your camera. They just give you overall more control. You can also use those apps from an iPad or a tablet, I, I should say. Um, I don't have any Apple products, so I, I can be 100% sure about um, a lot of those things. And then the last category is going to be console. If you own like a PS4 or a PS5, the Xbox One or the Xbox uh, Series X, uh, they have applications for Twitch where you can stream directly to your channel. Once again, if you're not streaming from a PC, you will not immediately get all the cool bells and whistles and all the possibilities that PC streamers will have. We can have software that can display whatever. We can play uh, YouTube videos while we're streaming and have the stream listen to stuff like that. You cannot do that on your console. You need to understand that. So basically your stream setup will be very basic, very limited once you're starting at least. And there's a bunch of workarounds, but it gets really complicated. That is just what you need to understand if you are a console streamer, if you stream straight from your console to your Twitch channel, right? And then the last, 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 last is people who own a computer and also an Xbox or a PlayStation and want to stream the gameplay from their <laughs> PlayStation to their uh, computer and broadcast it to Twitch. Now, in this case, you need something to take the image and the audio from your console, bring it to your computer. You are not a console streamer if you use a capture card. Word of the day, a capture card is a little device that you have to pay for, unfortunately, and, <laughs> and it basically splits the HDMI out of your console to give you what you will need to see on the TV, and then it brings it into your broadcasting software on your PC. OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, XSplit, Twitch Studio. Don't use XSplit or Twitch Studio. I mean, XSplit is fine. XSplit, XSplit is great. It's just you have to pay for it. If you are one of those PC streamers, you are in luck because my channel is basically dedicated to you and I have a bunch of videos on how to add all the cool bells and whistles to make your stream look good and more interactive and stuff like that, including the overlay packs you know, things that make your stream look pretty cool and stuff like that. I provide those uh, for free. A lot of them are for free and the rest is just super affordable if you want it to be animated and all of that. I also teach you how to show stuff like alerts. I also teach you how to set up a bot in your chat that will basically moderate for you and show messages from time to time if you want to add like some sort of reminder for people to follow you or to follow you on social. All of that is explained on this channel. Hopefully, if you are a beginner, that explanation was clear enough. If you're a little foggy, I don't know why that word came to mind, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. 
In order to get the free overlays, if you're on PC, go to gumroad.com slash get level. They're not all free, but the majority is. Make sure you absolutely understand how to install them before downloading or before buying them. And you can do that by watching my other videos just simply. All right, I don't want to make this video too long. This was supposed to be a brief explanation of all the main possibilities for a brand new Twitch streamer. Despite what you might hear about Twitch, it's a very welcoming community and there's a lot of good. There's, I would say that the majority is good. Unfortunately, uh, when the bad thing happens, it's blown out of proportion most of the time, <laughs> although sometimes rightfully so. Twitch is great. Twitch is amazing and Twitch is every single day changing people's lives. And I hope that you enjoy it. But please, what I advise you to do is really Try, try for real and see if it's for you, if you enjoy it yourself. Because on the other side, if your expectations are way too high, it might crush you. Okay, on those positive notes, <laughs> I will tell you that uh, if you look top right, you will see what YouTube thinks is the best video that you should be watching next. And at the bottom of it, you will see my most recent video. So check him out. Also, do not forget the Streamer Brain mug is available. Link in the description. That's my only merch for the year. So check it out. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching my video and watching me ramble. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level out.